Hey guys, this is Jen from Head to Toe, and today I wanted to share with you the I Heart Fall tag. So I've seen a lot of people doing this tag all around YouTube this year. I think I did one similar last year, if not the same. If I find it, I'll link it down below. Maybe you'll want to see both. But we'll start off with the first question. What is your favorite fall lip product? So I would have to say I have two different ones. The first one is doing sort of a stained lip effect. For some reason, I haven't done a whole lot of full-blown bold lips this fall yet. But I have been doing a lot of sheer reds. It's good for people who haven't sort of ventured into doing really bright lips. And I think it just works on a day-to-day -day basis looking really flattering on everybody. So my two favorites is to wear my lips sort of how I did today, which is sort of a bitten popsicle kind of look. And I used Urban Decay Super Saturated Lip Color in F-Bomb. You guys probably know I've been pretty obsessed with these super saturated lip colors. They're kind of just like a chubby pencil. But this is such a great deep red color. In fact, I feel like it totally matches my nail polish right now. It goes on very boldly and I just use my finger to kind of blend it out. And then my other favorite product is the Leoelli Blooming Gloss in Cherry Red, I believe. Yeah, Cherry Red. I talked about this in a previous previous favorites video for a gloss it has quite a lot of pigmentation without just being straight on opaque it still has a very shiny glossy look to it it's not like a liquid lipstick it's actually a gloss but it does have a lot of cherry bright red color so i've been loving both of those products so the next question is what's your favorite fall nail product and i'm going to talk about a couple that i've worn recently this one is zoya blair which is a gorgeous gorgeous dark burgundy that has a glowy effect on the nail and then this one is CND Indian Rhubarb and I did a full review of this nail polish on my blog so I'll link that down below. So the next question is number three, what is your favorite Starbucks fall drink? So I have to say I'm not like a Starbucks kind of person. I really only go there if I'm meeting somebody else there. I don't actually just like go there on a whim or anything. I don't really drink a lot of drinks with caffeine in them unless I'm like not feeling really well. So I have to say that my favorite fall drink in general, and this goes for every single year, has to be spiced apple cider. This is just the kind that you get at the grocery store in the packets. You just like pour it in some hot water. Ugh. It is so my favorite. I love it. When I do go to Starbucks, I actually do get the apple cider that they have there as well. So I guess it does count. The next question, number four, is what's your favorite fall candle? I know lots of people are like really, really into candles. I have to be another party pooper and say that due to kind of having like smoke allergies, I don't burn candles as much as I used to. I used to have quite a few and then I just started realizing I wasn't feeling very well when I had them around. So instead, what I got is the little oil diffuser from Bat, Bat, Bed, Bath, Bath and Body Works. I always mix those two up. Okay, so at Bath and Body Works, I got this one last fall. It's a cute little fox. It's so adorable. And then it kind of has this little oil thing that you twist into the side. And I believe the scent I got that I've been using right now is the pumpkin caramel latte. So almost like other people's favorite Starbucks drinks, but in a diffuser. What I like about this is I love fall scents, like hot apple cider, baked apple pie. I'm not really into eating pumpkin pie or drinking pumpkin things. I don't really love pumpkin in general, but this diffuser, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like warm caramel cookies. I'm sure they have other cute diffusers right now. I should probably go and see what they actually have, but I have this one from last year that I love, love, love. Okay, so number five is what's your favorite fall scarf or accessory? So I do have a lot of scarves. For some reason, I haven't delved full on into using lots of scarves lately because it's still been a little bit warm here, but... I have been really loving this. This is a 
sweater vest I got from Loft last year. So this is just a nice beige sweater vest and it has a zip up the middle and little like kangaroo pockets. But what I love is this faux fur scarf collar around the top. It just looks so cozy and warm and it is actually quite warm. So anytime I put this on top of anything, I feel really fall appropriate. I went to the Haunted Nights thing at Universal last weekend, um, got chased by a few zombies, uh, got chased by a few evil clowns with chainsaws, which was awful. Um, <laughs> but I decided to wear this and I felt like it gave me a little layer of protection. <laughs> oh. See, that works perfectly because the next question is haunted house, haunted hay rise, or haunted corn maze. To be honest, I don't ever really volunteer to go to haunted things because I get scared really easily and I have nightmares that are a lot scarier than going on the actual rides. I only went on one maze, which was the, the living dead zombie one. The actual maze not as bad as I thought it would be. Not as scary as I thought it would be. I was gripping onto my husband on one arm and um, my friend Ray, uh, her channel's Ray View. We both went on it together. So <laughs> if you're wondering how the universal thing, you can tweet both of us. But I was like gripping onto both of them for dear life as we were walking through the maze. So it went out okay. I didn't, you know, pee my pants or anything. But would I volunteer to go on another scary thing? Probably not. However, if I were to choose between those three, I would definitely have to say the hayride because at least you wouldn't have to get out and move around and walk around. That was the bad thing about the zombie ride is you wait in a super, super long line. They get you all freaked out because on the monitors, they're playing that, is it called The Walking Dead? Whatever that scary zombie TV show is that I refuse to watch, I refuse to watch people getting their faces eaten off. They were playing that everywhere. I had to like look at the ground so that I wouldn't get scared from all of this like evil, screaming, really good high-tech makeup, prosthetics, crazy blood squirting, gun shooting craziness that was on the TVs. You get on this bus thing with open sides, so they trolley you, and you think, oh, okay, we're going to just sit in this trolley for the whole zombie thing and it'll be okay. At least I can sit in the very middle and it'll be okay. But then they stop and it's all dark and they're like, okay, everybody get out. And we're like, what? What? We have to leave? So they lift up the things and we get out and we're all like holding on to each other. And then you get to the area and then things just start like running up to you. And that's when it gets really scary. So if it were a hayride, it's just a ride, right? Because you could just sit in it. So I would say definitely that because that would be less scary. <laughs> less scary than what I went on at least where I thought it was a ride, but then it wasn't. <laughs> Okay, number seven, what's your favorite Halloween movie? And I said this last year and it has to be the same. It has to be Hocus Pocus, which was my favorite Halloween movie all throughout growing up. And I like that it's not too scary. Also, I really, really love Sarah Jessica Parker. I love Thora Birch. And I just love all the characters and little cat. <laughs> I hope a lot of you guys out there are wusses like me and feel the same way about Halloween movies. All right, so number eight is, what is your favorite candy to eat on Halloween? So one thing that I always really loved eating in my trick-or-treat basket when I was younger is Laffy Taffy. I don't really eat a lot of Laffy Taffy, but I was really excited to grab those in my treat bag or whatever I would have. For some reason it has like a Halloween association for me more than other times of the year. So yeah, I would have to say Laffy Taffy and I love the grape ones. Okay, so number nine, what are you dressing up for as Halloween? I have a couple different Halloween tutorials I've done this year. So it's either going to be a fox or rainbow dash because that was a really fun look to do. So number 10 is what is your favorite thing about fall? I love dressing in layers. I love the different like added textures. I love sequins and fur and that sort of thing. 
and I just like cozying up with my husband and watching a nice movie, drinking hot chocolate, or like I said, spiced cider. It's a nostalgic time of the year and one that I spend a lot with my family. So that's what I love about fall. So I guess for this video, I tag everybody, mostly because all of my friends who do tags have already done this tag. But if you haven't, I tag you. If you know you're my friend, I tag you. Anybody who wants to do this video, it was super fun, so I'd love to watch your videos as well. Go ahead and write a response of the video in the comments, and I'll approve those. So thank you guys for watching again, and I hope you've had a wonderful fall this season, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!